Okay, so this will be the second part of uh, module 8. Alright, so make sure you stay tuned with me until the end of this video. Bye. Okay, now let's move uh, to the second part of uh, this uh, module. So we are still in module 8, Digital Story. So these are the objectives uh, for this uh, video. Okay, I want to discuss on the characteristics of the internal hard disk. Besides that, I will focus also on more benefits of uh, solid state drives. I also will discuss on the uses of external hard disk or external hard drives and read as well as uh, differentiate among uh, various types of memory cards and USB flash drives. Okay, now let's move. So the first one. Hard drive. It refers to collectively to hard disk and SSD. It can be internal or external. They also can reside inside a computer or mobile device. Or they can be an external device that connects to a computer or some mobile devices. A hard disk is a storage device that contains one or more inflexible circular platters that use magnetic particles to store data, instructions, and information. Devices such as desktop and laptops often contain at least one hard disk. The entire hard disk is enclosed in an airtight sealed case to protect it from contamination. As you can see in figure 8.4, the hard disk is put in an airtight sealed case. The laptop hard disk normally is much smaller than the desktop hard disk. Now let's discuss the storage capacity of hard disk. So the source, the source capacity of hard disk varies and is determined by the number of platters the hard disk contains, the composition of the magnetic coating on the platters, whether it uses longitudinal or perpendicular coding, and as well as its density. I will discuss a further on this. First, the platter. A platter is made of aluminium, glass, or ceramic and has a thin coating of alloy material that allows items to be recorded magnetically on the surface. Longitudinal recording. It aligns the magnetic particles horizontally around the surface of the disk. But with perpendicular recording, the hard disk aligns the magnetic particles vertically or perpendicular to the disk surface, making much greater storage capacities possible. Next, density is the number of bits in an area on a storage medium. A higher density means more storage capacity. User can read from and write on a hard disk any number of times. Before any data can be read from or written on a hard disk, the disk must be formatted. Formatting is the process of dividing the disk into tracks and sectors so that the operating system can store and locate data and information on the disk. A track is a narrow recording band that forms a full circle on the surface of the disk. The disk storage location consists of a wedge shaped section which breaks the track into small hubs that call sector. On desktop, the platters most often have a form factor of approximately 3.5 inches in diameter. However, for laptop, mobile devices and some servers, the form factor is 2.5 inches or less. A typical hard disk has multiple platters stacked on top of one another. Each platter has two read or write gates, one for each side. A read-write head is the mechanism that reads items and writes items in the drive as it barely touch the disk recording surface. A head actuator on the hard disk attaches two arms that move the read or write heads to the proper location on the platter. So as you can see in figure 8.6, these are the head that I, I mentioned to you before, the read or write head. While the computer is running, 
The platters in the hard disk rotate at higher rate of speed. This spinning which usually is 5,400 to 15,000 revolution per minute, which allows nearly instant access to all tracks and sectors on the platters. The platters may continue to spin until power is removed or slow down after a specified time to save power. Now, what happens if dust touches the surface of the platter on hard disk? Because of the close clearance between the read or write kit and the platter on a hard disk, dust, dirt, hair, smoke or any other contaminant could cause a disk to crash. A head crash occurs when a read or write head touches the surface of the platter, usually resulting in a lost data or sometimes loss of the entire disk. Now, let's continue with solid state drive. An SSD or solid state drive is a flash memory storage device that contains its own processor to manage its storage. The lack of moving parts make flash memory storage more durable and shock resistant than other types of media such as magnetic hard disk or optical disk. SSD may be in the form of flash memory chips installed directly on the motherboard or an adapter card. They also may be housed in separate casing that attaches to the motherboard as shown in figure 8.8. SSD are used in all types of computers including servers, desktop, laptops, tablets and a variety of mobile devices. And these SSD have several advantages over traditional hard disk which include faster access time, faster transfer rates, quieter operation, more durable, lighter weight, less power consumption, less heat generation, longer life and defragmentation not required. However, the disadvantages of SSD are that they typically have lower storage capacities than hard disk. Data recovery in the event of failure can be more difficult than for traditional hard disk and their cost is higher per gigabyte. Next will be external hard disk. External hard disk or external hard drive is a separate freestanding storage device that connects with a cable to a USB port or other port on a computer or mobile device, as you can see in figure 8.9. Sizes and storage capacity of external hard drives vary with some having greater capacities than internal hard drives. The next medium will be read. Some personal computer manufacturers provide a hard drive configuration that connects multiple smaller hard drives or SSDs into a single unit that acts like a single large hard drive. A group of two or more integrated hard drives is called a RAID or Redundant Array of Independent Disks. It is an ideal storage solution in situations where uninterrupted access to the data is critical. Normally, at the price often used RAID. Now, let's move to the portable flash memory storage. A memory card enables mobile users easily to transport digital photos, music, videos or other files to and from mobile devices and computers or other devices. A memory card is a removable flash memory storage device which is usually no bigger than 1.5 inches in height or width that you insert in and remove from a slot in a computer, mobile device, or card read or writer. The common types of memory cards include SDHC, SDXC, Mini SD, Micro SDHC, Micro SDXC, CF, HD Picture Card, Memory Stick Pro Duo, and M2. So this figure 8.5 shows the different types of computer and devices that have slot for memory cards. This figure shows how an SD card works. Now let's go to USB flash drive. USB flash drive is a flash memory storage device that plugs in a USB port on a computer or mobile device. They are convenient for mobile users because they are small and lightweight enough to be transported on a keychain or in a pocket. 
user can easily transfer documents, photos, music, and videos from one computer to another. Storage capacity of a USB flash drive might vary. So that's all for the second part of this uh, video. So we will continue with the next part of module 8 in the following video. Thank you. Bye.